my responsibility to talk, and it's your responsibility to listen. And I hope we both finish our tasks at the same time. <laughs> I just want to say a few words about this department. Um, the department itself uh, was started on April Fool's Day, 1974. Um, and I'm not sure we've ever come out from under that. <laughs> the work we do primarily uh, began prior to the formation of the department. And our work with homeless persons began in uh, 1969. And just for the fun of it, how many people were born later in 1969 who are in the room there? <laughs> <laughs> the department really was the grandchild of uh, William J. Grace, a very sober person. I had a photograph on my wall uh, which showed him smiling about like this. <laughs> and that, that was the broadest smile he was ever known to have. He, he felt that a department of this nature was appropriate for this hospital. The programs we had started all were in the Department of Medicine under his authority of the work of homeless persons and the Justice Laws program. So here we are, all these years later. Actually, if you stop to think about it, this institution, which is one of the older institutions in this country, 150 years. Our work with homeless persons has actually occupied one-fifth of the length uh, of the entire history of this institution. I uh, have accumulated some remarks made by others that have uh, appealed to me, particularly, and I, I collated a few of them here, um, which seem apropos to what we try to do. Uh, one of them is, so few are the easy victories and the final defeats. If you think about that for a minute, it, it characterizes reasonably well what we might as well call the virtues of perseverance. It, it's, it's been in the nature of this department, and I dare say of many other human institutions, to take an idea and persevere with it no matter what until it actually happens. And, and basically, everything we do here with somebody's brainchild, yeah, it, 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 it landed in and I just want to uh, disperse a few words about my own situation. Winston Churchill, um, late in his life, uh, was quoted as saying, I feel like an airplane at the end of its flight, in the dust, with the petrol running out in search of a safe land. Mm -hmm. And it, it, that appealed to a certain part of me. Maybe it's a little bit over stadium, but there's some truth in that uh, way of expressing how much sort of feeling. And I, I mean, I, I rather prefer the remark that Lefty Gomez, the Yankee pitcher in the 1930s and 40s, uh, made when he was interviewed. I, I didn't remember seeing him pitch. Um, he was known as a wit and a character, and therefore was regularly interviewed for like sports writers. And he was quoted as saying late in his career, the sports writer said, Lefty, how you doing? And he said, well, I'm throwing the ball just as hard, but it's only going half as fast. <laughs> 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 now, I, uh, everything that we have created together um, has, has resulted from not having any idea of exactly what was ahead of us through the, through the fog. It, it, you know, I'm sure this, this holds for all sorts of human adventures, but if you knew how difficult it was going to be, you'd never start. But if you can't tell, you might just as well blunder ahead. And that's more or less what we've done. The last thing I want to say is a quotation from Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, who said the following, the man who has said all he has to say has invariably said too much. <laughs> and I put that down there at the end, so I'm going to shut up just to the right moment. And I went out. But <laughs> I'm going to abuse this opportunity one more time and tell a oh, yeah. joke that some of you haven't heard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> 
For those of you who have heard it before, that's tough. <laughs> For the rest of you, God bless you. Anyway, this stuff goes into a drugstore. <laughs> <laughs> that's a joke. The stuff goes into a drugstore and he says to the uh, clerk, let me have some chapstick. The clerk hands the chapstick to the duck and says, will that be cash or charge? The duck says, just put it on my bill. <laughs> 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 <laughs>